This morning, I would like to make an announcement with you. Yesterday, in our Board of Trustees meeting, I announced my retirement from the presidency of Lancaster Bible College, Capital Seminary, and Graduate School, effective August 1, 2019. Let me explain. It has been a true joy for Paulette and me to serve this great Bible college. We have been blessed to serve with outstanding trustees, corporation members, administrative colleagues, and faculty and staff. Our lives have been enriched by the many constituent groups we serve, and we will always remember these 20 years as literally a gift from God. As I reflect with you this morning, the presidency required more than I could provide, and the difference has always been made up by the Lord himself. I have learned there is no time when you are not the president, even during the most casual of moments. The most transformative and professional act of my career is likely this decision to retire vocationally at the perceived peak of my tenure instead of continuing to exercise my positional authority. Though probably never entirely ready for such a move, I am prepared to lay down the reins of institutional power to embrace vulnerability and wisdom. Of all of the powerful activities I have done and decisions I have made for these 20 years, retiring voluntarily might be the most transformative and consequential for LBC, the place I so love. Every leader needs a plan for how to lay down their authority once and for all. I desire to do this before the trustees demand it. You got that. <laughs> My train leaves the station more often without me these days. A little humor. Consequently, Paulette and I have envisioned and planned for life beyond my tenure. These past 20 years, I have been clothed in visible symbols of authority, and now I want to learn to clothe myself in powerless servanthood, where my successor, the possessor of privilege, and me, the powerless one, can discover greater accomplishment together. I step away from the presidency while I am still healthy, I think, and energized by my responsibilities. I love every moment of my day. 85 years of history as an institution of biblical higher education is a long time. I am grateful every day that the Lord has given me the tremendous opportunity to be a small part of this grand timeline in the history of Lancaster Bible College. I really don't have the words to adequately express my overwhelming sense of gratitude for the honor, the privilege that has been afforded me to serve in this role for 20 years. At the end of my tenure, August 1, 2019, I will greatly miss our students. I will greatly miss each one of you. Friends who have been a part of my life, many of you for the past almost one-third of my life. Dr. Don Francis, just retired president of the Association of independent colleges and universities of Pennsylvania, informs me that I am the third longest serving seated president of our 97 independent colleges and universities in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. It has been such a deep joy to serve you, 
I mean that with all my heart. And to serve the Lord in the cause of biblical higher education for these years. Years that have been blessed by the Lord in so many ways. We cannot count them. I have done my utmost to promote the mission and preserve the financial stability and spiritual climate of LBC. Church history shows us that institutions over time tend to loosen in their doctrinal commitments for various reasons. Truth is not passed on and embraced from one generation to another. The word of God is gradually replaced by the word of men. Leaders can be very pragmatic rather than to be principled. Our college statement of faith is of vital importance, yet it is required of every generation to embrace the Word of God and the God of the Word. Truth in a creed is one thing, but truth must be in our soul for it to go from one generation to the next. My first and foremost goal of my presidency has been to guard the crown jewel of our theological heritage. To the very best of my knowledge, skills, and abilities, I have attempted to walk in truth, humility, and integrity, striving to carry out LBC's Christ-centered mission, that which has been entrusted to me in the office of president. My hope for LBC will not end when I arrive at the end of my tenure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless each one of you as we head into this final year of my service as president and soon into a glorious new era for LBC. The best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.